Okay guys, in this video we're going to be looking at the account settings. So I'm not going to be going through these in order. I'm going to be going through these in the order that you should look at them or I think that you should look at them. So the process of how you're actually going to use Locker Stock. So first thing I recommend you do is go into account and fill in any details you can here. So if you're using Amazon, put your Amazon stuff in, fill everything in as it should be. Um, some of it will already be pre-filled. Now here, this is something you want to do at some point and you don't have to do it straight away and you can always change it out at any time as well. This is your promotional image. If you hover over this little eye, it tells you the dimensions that you need for it and it tells you a little bit of information about it. So here you could put a thank you message uh, and a coupon code or something like that for your customer. Uh, so when they get the, the product, you're enticing them to come back or whatever and, and saying thank you and stuff like that. So I'm sure you've seen that before with products. Like I say, you're probably not prepared for that right off the bat. So you just be, just know that it's there and know that you can come back and you can change this out anytime you want. So if you want to change the offer or the message, you can do that right here. Um, the other important thing you should do is upload your logo so that your logo will come on the pack and slip as well and it'll be kind of branded to you so it'll look like it's coming from your company. It's easy enough, choose the file, upload your logo, boom, done. From name, from name on tracking emails sent. So what will happen with your integration, um, as long as you've got this checked here and you're using the integration, uh, Locker stock when they send the product out, they'll email the actual customer with, to the customer's email because they would have grabbed those details. Uh, they'll email the customer with the tracking link, which saves you emailing the customer and keeps your uh, customer support down. Um, so you want to check that really from name. So this would be, you know, maybe for me, it might be Matt at um, Matt from designs on print on demand okay so it, you might be jane from the the perfect print store or something like that from email address put your email address in there and it'll look like it came from you and then send a copy to your personal email address or another email address so that you know as well when that product's gone out and you get a notification so you can keep tabs on things as well you may or may not want that it's entirely up to you but know that it's there and that's what it's for so I would go through those, go through there, fill it, everything in that you can. You should pretty much have a logo. Again, if not, it doesn't 100% matter because you can come back here and just update that at any time. But I recommend you put your logo in, recommend you 100% fill this in and then just have a little think about this promotional one here and then know that you can come back and change that again. Okay, so that's it for the first step and I'll see you in the next video.